Little gap killer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fix it next time. Facebook, we see you. What up? DJ Storyteller. Alongside J Ma, the boy Wonder. And this is everything but religion. That's right, the perfect blend of ignorance and intelligence. But before we get started, we gotta let you guys know something. That we officially changed our name. Uh, everything but religion is still a podcast, but we decided to change the name to EBR Media and Entertainment. Just because we're more than just a podcast, we actually go out here and do events. Uh, we had a great event uh, Saturday, actually, at the Picosa Yacht Club for um, Julie and Joey Donatelli's wedding. It's a great, great, great wedding, great setting. Uh, I had a, I had a blast. I had a blast, uh, and they were they were overall a great uh, group of people because they danced the whole night. Like whatever song I put on, they they pretty much danced to. They was feeling me. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they damn sure was. <laughs> they wanted you to roast the dag dag on family. <laughs> we had a good time. Yeah, we had a great time. They Everybody ate good but us though. We ain't eat. I know. I showed you. I was, I was, the bird I was, ate. We ain't even eat. Oh, the bird. <laughs> <laughs> the bird did. He straight snatched that. Uh, they had the, the biggest shark coochie board I've ever I seen in my ne- life. Yeah, I've never seen that that joint that big before. I'm definitely gonna uh, make a video just for that event and the Atlanta event that we're gonna post on uh, YouTube so y'all can see what what we what we were uh, witness that was. It was, like I said, the wedding was dope. Um, no, no, we already talked about the Atlanta trip. That was dope too. But yeah, we are just making different business moves. Uh, I think it was a good move for us to make with the name change. But like I said, EBR, uh, everything with religion podcast hasn't gone anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Still doing this damn thing. Um, just hoping y'all, you know, still tune in, and you can still search us through just looking up EBR itself. All right, first. Rule of order it is my Miami Heat. I don't know y'all. I don't know about y'all, but uh, I think they're the best best eighth seed I've ever seen. They, they were in the playing tournament, and now they took out the number one seed, the Bucks. Uh, they took out the Knicks, and now the Battle of the Celtics. They won last night the first game. Jimmy Butler went crazy again. I think he had thirty five, six steals, um, seven rebounds. He had he had stats. He had a, a a, a stat in every in every uh, category. So he, he's doing his thing. I'm, I'm I'm proud of my boys. I'm mad to go to state out. Uh, it's just the Lakers were too much for him. So we'll see how, how that series goes. But you know, it's all all Miami for me. The Lakers still balling though. Yeah, they, uh, they shocked a lot of people. Even with they, the L, they still balling. Yeah, they weren't even supposed to make it to the playoffs. Honestly, they, nah. they counted them out <laughs> in the middle of the season when the All Star break hit. They were already counting the Lakers out, and they went on a crazy run. They made a trade, went on a crazy run. They still, they, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the Denver series is gonna play out. I want to. I think it's going all seven. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good series. LeBron ain't going out just like that. 
Nah. So we'll see. I'm I'm glad. I'm Joker glad. versus the King. Yeah, the Joker. The Joker is a is a walking triple double. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, He's yeah. a walking triple double. And then you kill him. Uh, Caldwell Pope uh, all, all of a sudden got a jump shot at us somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Cause he, I think, didn't he play for the Lakers at one point? Don't get me lying. I think he did, but uh, he, he's balling, yo. Yeah, I mean, he's balling like crazy. So I got hats off to the Lakers and my Heat. I ain't, I ain't respecting the mother, the Boston Celtics right, right now, cause uh, they ain't showed me nothing. And I respect Denver, of course. Cause they, they hats off to them too. Healthy, I think that's the best team in the league, man. Who? Denver. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Without Healthy. That, man, I think that's the best team. In the I league. agree with that. Yeah, I agree. They got they got the West on lock, honestly. Oh, absolutely. And another uh, some more entertainment news. Jamie Foxx. Um, I see his daughter put out a statement that he is in a he's in a rehab center. Um, they say the rehab center is one of, is a top notch rehab center for people that have suffered strokes. So it seems to be that that's what Jamie suffered. That was what his uh, medical condition was. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if 100 percent that's what it was. That's what. They said that's what type of rehab center he's in. Right, right. And his daughter, him and his daughter, starting up a new show. Yeah, I heard they got uh, something, something in the works. Yeah, I forgot how she put it. it. Uh, so it's something about families. Uh, it's an, another game show type thing. But I wonder if he's going to get back on and beat Shazam since Nick Cannon uh, yeah. started recording for him while he was in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw a commercial for that last night uh, yeah. during a, uh, what's it? the Amer- the the singer thing, the Mad singer. singer. Yeah, yeah, that. That was my first time actually watching. That was just a finale, but actually, actually watching one of the episodes. It's actually a pretty good show. I like uh, it's music, so I like it. They can't they can't miss. Yo, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Like we said before, you can say Nick Cannon is corny, goofy, whatever. This man's resume is ridiculous. Yep. And he's he's always in something. His body count ridiculous too. But yeah, you, can, you know he got the wild nut girls. <laughs> the, he got all in them. He, I know he didn't. Didn't he get one of them? One of them his baby moms? I don't know. There's so many of them. I don't know how many. He got so many kids. Hopefully the same one DC got. <laughs> <laughs> that oh that would that would be something there. Boy. Yeah. But speaking of wild and out, they got a um, new episode tonight with Antonio Brown. Not AB. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AB. What color is his mustache? I think I think he just got a natural color right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ain't got that blonde mess looking. That was weird. Yeah, Not gonna weird. Lie. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> that man was looking straight crazy with it. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, he still blamed James Harrison for giving him. He says he has CT, and James Harrison is the one that gave it to him. Oh wow! I was like, they, first of all, in practice, they don't hit you. They don't hit that hard. Not to the point where they're knocking you out. But that's Vontez Burfitt. He might have got the numbers mixed up because mm. he he got blasted. He definitely got blasted on that James. But, uh, yeah, that was a, uh, what the hell was I even talking about? Boy, I didn't miss me. But, yeah, um, Jamie Foxx is doing, hopefully doing better. Can't wait to see what he, what he pops up with next, uh, as far as, uh, recovery-wise. Uh, mm-hmm. that's what we want him to do, get better before he starts getting back into the acting and entertainment business. Absolutely. Um. Did you, uh, I saw the George Foreman film is out now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been out for a little bit. Is it on Prime? Uh, that I don't know. But I know I'm going to check it out. I definitely want to see it. I know it was in theaters not too long ago. So it oh, would make sense for it to be on, on Prime because uh, um, Creed, then it, it, it was it was still in things while it was on Prime as yeah, well, too. Yeah, That's the new, that's the new should, wave now. So I don't I even know how do. movies is recouping money back now. You know, you're good. you're right. I, I didn't even notice they were really selling and advertising DVDs until yesterday. I saw two commercials for DVDs. I was like, I mean, I Blu-ray, in while. not DVDs, but... Uh, I haven't purchased one of those in a while. Me either. Not since <laughs> the bootleg days. I ain't even... And I don't think I got a Blu-ray player. I think the PS4 is a Blu-ray player, yeah. right? Yeah, uh-huh. And, That's the, only... and the PS5 got to be a Blu-ray player now, too, right? Yeah, sure. Or is that still yeah. a, a capability? I'm yeah. not going to know for another two years. I'm not buying a PS5 <laughs> for a minute. Call me cheap, call me broke, boy. Don't care. Not yeah, buying one for video a game systems aren't that important to where you got to jump on them. P- I, and then people will stand in line for them. Janks I just got a new phone last month. What that tell you? Oh yeah, you had what you had before? A Galaxy Seven, I think. Yeah, and they on twenty. Yeah, I, three? I just got a twenty three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pressed. I'm good. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it in a couple of years. I promise. Oh yeah, yeah, dang on race. But my brother, on the other hand, he ordered one and got two PS fives. Yeah, he told me about that. I was like, yo, yeah, you're lucky, yo. Cause yeah, because the first one got lost or something. He ordered a, um, the the physical, you know, the, the one that read the physical disc. Yeah. Had that in the cart. Took it out, ordered the 
the one that's all digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they wind up sending him both. Sometimes the yo, sometimes them companies be missing out like that. Yeah. Know? They really do. Uh, I know my wife has gotten several things uh that we thought got lost or sent to somebody else's house in our neighborhood and then we report it, they send the they send the, the stuff back and then somehow the other the first one pops up out of nowhere. Yeah, he definitely came up. Did you hear about my boy Jonathan Major boy? Did you hear who he is with now? Oh yeah, Megan is Megan. Oh, good. Yes good. it is Megan Good. Is it is that is that official? I don't know if it's I, I haven't seen too much of them confirming or denying, but I don't know seen a couple pictures of them hugged up and I'm jealous. <laughs> I think he had a lot of people mad just because that Megan people have been waiting for Megan Good for a minute. She just got divorced not too long ago, so she was in the open market, but yeah. Jonathan Majors went in there and swooped her up. She went from a pastor to a heathen, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> He got a lot going on right he now, does, man. Does. I don't know. I don't know. I hope all allegations come out to be false well, yeah, because he, he, he got he got a, a promising. He he's had a promising summer already. Yeah, and it ain't even summer yet. So you know, you know, summer times when like you know they they all worried about the summer blockbusters. He mm -hmm. had two blockbusters in the same year. He sure did. He was in Ant Man and Creed Three, and they, I I really feel like both of those movies could have been summer hits. Oh, definitely. If they would have waited, definitely. but De uh, they came out at perfect time. I'm not, I'm not knocking that at all. They because they had to, they had to, they had to hold back because Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah. That's about to take over the summer. And I heard it's the last one. I hope they, it is, they say it is. I hope it is too because it's. But you know, spinoffs gonna be crazy. They shouldn't do no more spin. They, 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 they got Jason Momoa, John Cena, and The Rock in the same movie. And uh, what you call it, uh, Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah. The that's the first name I said. See, oh, I didn't hear you say Jay. Uh, he he been married way too long. He don't listen to nothing, people. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and all I hear is nah, 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 in my ear sometimes. That's that's gonna be. I'm. I stopped caring after five, five like five or six. I I really stopped caring. They all started mushing him. Yeah, that and then Tokyo Drift was shouldn't even been in part of the franchise, but it was because they had a contract uh, dispute with Vin Diesel, I believe. Yeah, that was that was. They just put out a movie. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think that Rock was gonna be in the new one, but yeah, he I got didn't special, either. special appearance in there. So that might be part of what the spinoff is. I mean, I already did Hobbs and Shaw. I didn't think that was, was actually pretty good. Yeah, too. it was a great uh, action film. I mean, like it was a summer blockbuster, easily. But and I didn't know they made another uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, I saw a commercial for that last night too. I was like, Tom Cruise still out here doing his own stunts. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, that 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 right there alone is wild. But to see another Mission Impossible or another um, Indiana Jones. There's another one of those coming. June thirtieth, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it's about the, that. One. It's the final, the final. The yeah. So is this like a prequel or is this uh, wrapping up? Yeah. Harrison Ford, old now. Yeah, he's in there. Harrison Ford in it too. Yeah, he's in it. Yeah. Harrison he's, Ford, what is yeah. earring? Blame boy. Don't care about nothing. <laughs> Don't care about nothing. He don't though, but he yeah he's in he's uh he's in this one unless they you know pass the torch to somebody else I don't know, but this that's uh yeah that Harrison Ford my wife was like he's still making Indiana Joneses I said yeah yeah he he's is. had some awesome roles though man yeah, oh he has he's been in the game for a minute and I think he's that thing they he said he didn't start solo he was Indiana Jones yeah uh, he's had so many movies he's been somebody else that was dope too. He he's, he's he's just been dope for a long time, man. He has, yeah. like quietly too. Just just you know, just nonchalantly, just been that dude in pop yeah. culture for a minute. He has. He he don't see him getting any you no know, weird issues with mm -hmm. anybody. Like he didn't yell at people or anything like that on set or anything crazy like that. Harrison Ford has been quiet and still yeah. making banging movies. And yeah, I don't, he never got into TV like TV shows, did he? I don't remember seeing him. Yeah, you don't think he's one of the, the few that don't actually go into sitcoms and stuff like I that. I mean, that. his resume is really, like, he's, he's Han Solo, dude. Oh, yeah, I know. Yo, Han he's Solo, Indiana dude. Jones. Like, who, who else you got to be for the rest of your career? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, who else do you have to be? People dress up like him all the time. Speaking of Han Solo, this is off the subject of that, but uh, I saw a list that said it was like 100 things men shouldn't do, and watching Marvel movies and Star Wars is one of them. That's terrible. I was like, huh? You yeah, that's just like, if you, if you watch those? Just like the post that said, what real man orders appetizers? I'd never seen <laughs> What? <laughs> Yo, know, appetizers, that's the yeah. warm-up to the, to the entree. What do you mean? What what real man order appetizers out here? Like, that man can't do nothing. They can't, yo. They, that. It's crazy. <laughs> this world is different now. Watch yeah. Marvel. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, I love Marvel. Every time they get a... Send a text in under five minutes is one of them.
<laughs> carry a child. What is what they oh, should do? Those, this, is, this is what it says they can't cannot do. Fifty thing fifty things a man cannot do. What do you mean I know you can't carry a child physically in your stomach, but you can carry a child. I don't know now. It says change the oil cheaper than Jiffy Lube. Hey, back in the day, it used to be cheaper to do it yourself, but now I'm, it might be just about even. No, it is about even because uh, um, wow. what's that? Like the five quart of yeah. uh, oil is like forty dollars. Then you gotta buy the and oil. You get the full it. synthetic. Good. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then some cars take more than six uh, quarts of uh, oil. Now. Mine takes six and a half. Do so you they have to do, me for seven. Do you have to do um? How often does your oil change though? Whenever the sticker told me to get it done, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Anna's uh, on her on her um on her car is every six thousand miles. Mine is like every three mm-hmm. on my car, but it, it could be because mine is a little older than hers. Yeah, the high, the high mileage. So you probably using a blend instead of the full synthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She so got I, full synthetic. I'm using full hers. synthetic in mine, so it was like sixty five dollars. I was like, man, I let me just do it myself. And I want to. Uh, <laughs> I went to that on AutoZone. By the time I bought everything, it was like seventy dollars. I said, "Well, let me go sit down in my car and get another five minutes." Yeah, I'll give me a free bottle of water. I remember we could do um, you could go to uh, any spot and get an oil change for twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty thirty bucks, no problem. Yeah, not no. But like it was said, the, it was a cheap old brand, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It was the floor model oil. I want to tell you that. <laughs> I wouldn't go on a road trip after you get it done. Nah, uh. Uh-uh. But you'd be had to go back and forth to work for the next two three months. The one place <laughs> I would never take my car to get service again is Walmart. Uh, I took the to get an oil change there and they forgot to put oil back in the car. Oh my god. I didn't wow. I did yeah, I didn't realize until I started driving and I was like, What well, is my oil light still on? They they should have put oil in it. And then I checked it, nothing oh, and, and there was a rag in my engine. In like oh, where the, the belt is. And it was like I took a picture of it and it was like that doesn't mean we did it. I don't want smooth into a parking lot and hit a pole. <laughs> my engine locked up and I couldn't stop. Ah uh, yeah, you know what? see, I was I was young, I was a lot younger than I. I boy, I would definitely would have did that. Uh, my lawsuit would have been hurt because boy, boy, oh boy, I opened up two WalMarts. What? Dang, all right. <laughs> so you know, you know who we got to talk about? Ja Morant. Mm-hmm. So I see a lot of people are uh, are on his side and saying that you shouldn't punish him. Uh, he's twenty three years old. You know, blah, blah blah, all that stuff. My thing is, he's already been through this situation once. He was told yep. not to carry a, not, it's definitely not to be flashing around on camera on uh, IG Live. And he did that. Now, his friend recorded it probably on accident, but it happened. Yeah. My thing is, if that gun, if I, you know, I don't know what kind of gun he had. What if the safety would have went off, spooked the driver, and they would have all crashed and died? Then it would have been off. Then everybody would have been saying something different right now. But. I think they're doing the right thing, and I think he definitely needs to be suspended. Cause it's like it, I feel like he's like taking it for a joke. Like you're young, you make two hundred and twenty-four million dollars. Your contract is worth two hundred twenty-four million dollars. Which is why I'm kind of on the fence about how I feel about the thing. Like on one hand, he representing a brand, mm-hmm. a multi-billion-dollar brand. Yes, and he's gotten in trouble for his him being the face of the brand. You know, he's supposed to be like one of the one of the leaders of the new school that's taking over. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. LeBron getting old. Yeah, uh-huh. LeBron is getting old. It's, you know, everybody is, is, is looking forward to when LeBron to come in. But until he get there, they were looking at Joker and they were looking at Ja. Yeah. And uh, the Greek Freak. They were yep, looking yep. forward to them, you know, being the ones to take over the, the tour. Because I don't think LeBron would keep playing at this level forever. No, he can't. He got to slow down. And, but even him slowing down is incredible. Just I want to put that out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely, definitely. He's but still, back to, yeah, yeah, yeah. But back to Ja. You know, you know he... He is is a, a rising star, the face of a multi billion dollar company, in which you do not want to be representing this company and just flagging a gun, especially with all the crazy nonsense gun violence we got in this country anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's let, let's just keep that a buck. Like mm-hmm. you know, America is trash when it comes to gun violence. Facts. That's number one. Yeah. So if you just waving one around like it's like it's fun, that's trash. Yeah, yeah. And especially when they're telling you, hey, you worth a lot of money. That's not what you should be doing. You know, handle yourself, conduct yourself, and carry yourself a whole different way. Mm-hmm. I, I apologize; it never happened again. Less than two months later, <laughs> here we are. That's that's ridiculous. But on the other hand, he is in Memphis. Let's not forget what happened to the homie Dolph. Yeah. So, people like me and you, yes, regular Joe Schmoes, we already know what he's worth. So, at any time, somebody could want to try to run up on him. So, I understand him uh, practicing his amendment right to. 
protect himself. Yeah, oh yeah. And definitely. no one's saying that he shouldn't be able to protect himself or carry. They just saying he shouldn't be waving it around looking and exactly. being a poster child for violence or nonsense or potential accidents with firearms. Because any, I don't like anything about the NRA 100%. I'll be the first one yeah, let yeah, you know. Yeah, definitely. 100% I'm not on board with the NRA. Mm -hmm. However, if you take any safety course, everything he did in that video was wrong. Yes. Every <laughs> single thing. Yeah. And I gotta admit, I agree with him. They, yeah. that's, 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 that's stupid. I mean, I don't even know what else to say, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, they did try to throw music in it, too, though. They said music was an influence. Of course, hip-hop culture, I guess. Yeah. I guess they're going to throw that in there. But again, like I said, work that kind of money out there in Memphis, you definitely want to be protected. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, Dolphin's no longer with us because he wanted to go get some bakery yeah, items, some bro. cookies, yeah. 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 But the, with the amount of money that Ja has... He can hire security that that invisible. Absolutely. People don't even know who they are until they decide to act crazy and, and it's a rat. He could hire people that could be invisible, but he's still 23, so he thinks he's invincible. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. You got to remember, man, back yeah. when you was 21, 22, boy, oh. you thought you was going to live forever, man. Right? right, you ain't lying. You hop yeah. out of bed with no problem, and man. You got to ease out of bed, my boy. <laughs> you ain't lying. You hop out if you want to, your whole day is over, man. Yeah, show sure <laughs> <laughs> Your day is a wrap. And if I had the amount of money that... Jai has, I would, I mean, I probably would make some dumb mistakes too. Yeah. Like you said, he's young. But I, it's just that whole that he went through the course on that, on um, what not to do with gun safety and this and that. And then he turns around and he's. Yeah. Yeah. And then again, I heard, I don't know how much truth is, you should take this with a grain of salt because, you know, the internet be internet. Yeah. Dude. I heard that was an old video and it got caught on live and it got reposted online. So this was prior to his first incident. Maybe he might be able to get a pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but a huge maybe because, you know, Mr. Sterling is not taking this too much. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not at all. He said, I tried my best to give you a lenient punishment because, you know, you're a rising star. You're young. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe you learn from this and do better. Now you're making me look stupid. <laughs> and he already looks stupid. So He's a boy. He's like he's not made he, from this world. He reminds me of the principal from Community. Yo, he does. <laughs> he does. He definitely. <laughs> so now, so now it, 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 it's 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 like a little bit of, of of three issues now. Now I said three issues. Now it's a little bit of three issues. <laughs> now it's like uh, number one: Are you making the brand look bad? Mm -hmm. Number two: Are you making uh, a mockery of the the uh, what's his title? Uh, commissioner, commissioner yeah, yeah. of the commissioner of the bed. And then yeah. number three, do you just not care? And if that's the case, if you just don't care about your well-being and your safety, why would any other sponsor or team want to invest in you? Exactly. That's, and that's the thing I see because uh, if, if Memphis decided to just like release him, yeah. it, it, I think it would be hard for be uh, a GM man. or uh, owner to say we want job. Right. So they definitely need, he definitely needs to keep that in mind because his career could could be gone in a matter of minutes. Now, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's apples and oranges. I yeah. get it. Before I say what I'm about to say, I get it. Apples and oranges. I know. But you see, you saw how hard it was for Vic to get another job. Oh, boy. And he was still balling. And they still, they still drag and him. And we'll not let, we not let that go. No, uh -uh. we'll not let that go. Now, don't get me wrong. Apples and oranges. I know what he did and what's going on is completely different. I yeah, get it. Yeah. But if this was, if this is just something that we're in, Sterling just tells the the GMs and all the owners, like, look, this kid is a problem. He's making us look bad. I don't want him. It could happen. It definitely could happen. <laughs> it definitely happen. Yeah, he'll, he'll be over there in China with them other cats, man. Yeah. With the White House looking. Do you see what he, you see that commercial he got, man? He got a commercial. Oh, I'm gonna pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put the link at the bottom of the video. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> I don't even. I, man, the white be the white dog. He this do. dude, that's a weird individual, man. Yeah, I always thought he was weird. I always thought he was weird. I see he reached out to um, what Dylan Brooks and. Chris Paul and told him to come on. <laughs> I'm having a ball. I need to pull up. Yo, he dropped like 73 points. He had like 30 rebounds one game. He had a triple, like a quadruple double. Well, that's crazy. But he's also probably the tallest dude in over where he's playing at. Absolutely. Where is he playing at? I, I want to say he's Taiwan, but he's definitely the biggest dude over here. The fact that that's where he's playing and, and, and that's the top, uh, that's the most interesting topic that Shaq got to talk about on his job about the NBA is yeah. hilarious to me. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Shaq would come out of nowhere just to talk about him playing. He showed he, he showed Ty, Taiwanese basketball. He's in yeah he's yeah. in Taiwan, so he's playing for the Taiwanese basketball team. But 
That's yeah. worse than the Washington football team. <laughs> well, they got new owners now, though. Yeah, shout out to that. So it's gonna be a new chief. It's gonna be a new chief for the commanders. Oh, that was nice, son. <laughs> yeah, Donald. What's his name? Donald. Dang, what was his name? Yeah, I just know Magic Johnson part of it. I don't know. No, no, I'm talking about the the Dan Snyder. Yeah, he's oh, out of yeah, there. Yeah, Dan Snyder. He, Yo, he was, good, but he was also he was wild. Dan Snyder. Yeah, was wild. but he was so wild that couldn't but, but couldn't nobody touch him because he had so something on everybody he else. He did. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he was. As much as they wanted to sit him down, vote him out, and make him sell the team, won't nobody gonna say nothing because he had evidence on everybody. He did. That's why the first year they told him to change the name, he's like, nah. And he went and bought a big yeah. ass yacht. I yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And he just slapped all that. No stuff problem. Crazy. He straight slapped the NFL in the face with that one. Then that whole e- that email scandal uh, came out. Yeah. And yeah. He was virtually untouched. Like, he was. It yo. was like, yo, this, is, really a vibe, this is a disgusting <laughs> and, and wild work environment. And we're going to do a, a deep investigation. And it just disappeared, yo. Straight disappeared, yo. Nobody. He said, "Yeah, go ahead, and I'm and I'm gonna, I'm gonna empty out my spam on all of y'all cats." He did. He really did. He was about to. That's wild, dude. That's, that's somebody that had that much information on. A, a, a can you just imagine what they were yeah. talking about? Oh, can you just imagine, bro? That's the one that this, the email. Um, when you love to be in a billionaire group chat. Oh, uh, yes. And I, just yes, keep yes. and just keep the receipts. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Just uh-huh, sit back yeah. and don't say nothing, but just just yeah. just have to read and hear what they're talking about. Yeah, definitely. Doing yeah, definitely. doing the whole Colin Kaepernick thing. Oh, definitely during that. <laughs> you know, they was talking crazy. Doing the whole Black Lives Matter thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, can you imagine, bro? Oh, yeah, it was probably, that joint was probably the wild. And I wonder who sent out the first email or, 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 or the first text in the group chat when they were saying, like, hey, all that hell we put Colin Kaepernick from, through, and then George Floyd and, and the whole riot and all that, and then the attack on the nation's capital. Like, maybe he was right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because a month later, everybody had... Equality and Black Lives Matter on their jerseys, which was a huge no-no back then. Yeah, it sure was. I would just love to just sit back and listen to what was going on because I guarantee he probably said something like, "Yo, they trying to fire me. Let me save this. Let me save oh, that. Oh yeah. Let me save this." <laughs> yeah, I believe that. You're right. You absolutely right. And I and I mean Kaepernick actually you know still could ball there for a little bit, but I mean he's been out the league for so long. And that's that another so one. At, after you piss off the league, it's hard for you to get a job. Look at Cap. Look at Vic, man. Yeah, Vic was lucky to get back in. Yeah. Cap has not been able to get back in. He didn't even try it out for other teams. Had a uh, secret location to try out at, and even though he changed it at the last minute, right. But, and I don't know what's worse for you to for you to mess up so bad that the league hates you and you still got talent, or for you to have no talent but the crowd loves you. Like look at Tebow. Tebow's yeah, the most he, popular, yo, famous non-football player. He did. <laughs> He pisses me off. Look at Johnny Football. Oh, Johnny Football. <laughs> Johnny Football was, he was terrible. Like, he had every opportunity. They gave him multiple chances to get in. He, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. It ain't like he injured or, or injury prone like uh, like uh, your boy uh, T-Mac or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. Or shit, injury prone people like uh, Anthony Davis. I was yeah, he's an injury prone dude. I'm surprised he actually the ball at last game, but yeah, yeah I don't different. know, man. It's wild. I'm, it's definitely- I'm just saying, man. Like I, I really hope, I really hope that there's something wrong with him, so that it's like Charlemagne said it best. I'm gonna start with that. Charlemagne said if something comes out, and I really hope it comes out, that he's like uh, mentally unstable, he's on drugs or something like that, because then it would make sense why this keeps happening. Yeah. If it's just him, just on, on, on a strength for just cause, yo, why? Yeah, honestly, I think that's what it is. He grew up in a small town, and now he just, I don't know. We'll see. But you got, a lot of people don't realize the world is a whole lot bigger than your backyard. Yeah, oh, well, yes, it is. You, yeah, yeah. And then, and all of a sudden, in a, in a drop of a dime, you, allow, you got enough money to see the whole world in 30 days? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you, can, you can do, and ha- you know, people give you stuff when you get that much money. Yeah. And you don't even have to pay for it. No more. Yeah. They're like, yeah, please come stay in my hotel. Just take a picture with the manager or something. It just be that simple. I really hope that he gets a fair punishment that where he can, you know, it's 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 uh it's not too over the top, but at the same time, maybe he'll realize the error of his ways and make some smarter choices, man. Because I really think he's gonna be the future. Of the, I think he has the potential to be the future of definitely. the NBA. Yeah, definitely. They're saying the rumor is they're saying that at least forty games is half the season. But those mm. are those are those are non paid games. No, non paid days. But that's what if you with the same team after that? Like what you yeah. gonna do after that though? Yeah. Yeah, because what, what he just did just canceled him out of, of getting the max contract. Right. So he can't even get a max contract right now. So, I mean, 
And this happened during the playoff, like they're going the uh the the not the finals, yeah, the playoffs. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got in trouble before the season even start, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you starting the season on the bench, yo. Yeah, exactly. This, that's crazy. That's wild, yeah. You made you made that whole speech announcement. You know, I got the help of the This is not me. I'm gonna be a better person next season. Yeah. And next season started. You still gonna be sitting down. And they you see, for doing the same foolishness. You see his apology. They're saying that um, he had AI write it. Then Shannon Sharp broke it down. Like this is not the way he talks. So mm-hmm. why he's not? He he said he he said Chat GTP. He said he he's not saying it's a hundred percent, but he has a feeling that he used the AI technology to write his apology. I mean, I don't know if you can actually be mad at him for doing that because that's that's uh, the new wave now. Everybody using AI everything. That's hilarious. I thought you meant Allen Iverson wrote it for him. Oh, because oh. <laughs> well, yeah. anybody would know how to apologize to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see him in commercials now too, though. Yeah. Uh, Allen Iverson uh, represented seven five. Um, they, they just gave Bethel. Um, I didn't know he still sponsored them for sure. Oh yeah. He just gave the basketball team. All of them got the answers. Yeah. I wonder if he still support Georgetown or if he uh, really just just rock with the hometown. That's good. You know, George, Georgetown put him on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you know, respect and shout out, but you still the fact that he take care of home first, no matter what, that's dope to see, man. It is. It, there's because there's so much, there's so many people that, that high level people or talented people that came from this area that can do that, but not a, a lot of them do. Right. Michael Vick's one of them. He always has a, a football camp here and brings the you know top football players here to, to do it with him. Iverson, he has a Iverson Classic. I mean, most of the games aren't played here, but he has an actual league for younger kids to play in. Uh, for real, just love. For real, yeah, just love. And he, that's something in the water is going to be something that goes on for a while. I oh, absolutely. Um, it's the the modern day. I ain't gonna say Woodstock because that was a whole other thing back in the day, but. Similar to those big Coachellas and yeah. those big uh, festivals like that. I don't think I ever go to one. What, Coachella? Uh, oh, something in the water? Coachella, Burning Man, something in the water, all that. I don't think was I ever it go Firefly? to one. Firefly? Hmm? That other one, Firefly? The one Ja Rule did? Firefest. Firefest, yeah. Fire Festival. Yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of no, want that, that was trash. Yeah, I, I'm, talking about, nah, I'm, I'm <laughs> just talking about, I, I don't like being around the, like, all, all the people. huge crowd, crowds of people. Yeah. yeah. Something in the water was a, Man. Was a whole lot of people. If I someone see me and think I'm hilarious and want me to perform, like I perform yeah. and go home, I'm good. I think the only way I would want to watch it is probably from the hotel room. And yeah, room oh, oh, yeah, yeah, or that, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would go perform and get me a room on the balcony, be out there, have me some beverages and enjoy the show. Yeah, I would do it that way. Too many people out there, way too many people. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of being in huge crowds. And this was like before COVID. I still wasn't like that. Oh y'all, I know you never. He was all uh, never a fan of big crowds. Mm-mm. I don't. And believe it or not, I'm an introvert. I I, I got to I got to sit back and, and watch a room before I just start talking to people. I don't I, I never walk in the person. I don't know walk into a room and just become that dude unless I've seen you. I've been in your house a couple times. Oh, gotcha. There's some people. Really? They, 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 never, they, you know, I never picked that on. Yeah, you know, the first time I met the crew, the the second family. Oh yeah. First yeah, of all, yeah. I sat back. Yeah, What's going on? Yeah, I sit yeah. back, listen, observe. All right, I can joke around him. Oh, I'm not gonna tell that joke to him. I'm gonna like that. <laughs> 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 true, true. You, yeah, it was like that. You're right. I just never, I just, it just brought it to light. Now yeah. I think about it. That's why. Yeah, and I'm very, I'm very emotional. I'm an emotional ass Virgo. <laughs> I think a lot of Virgos are very emotional. But instead of, instead of me crying and 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 uh, which I I, I do need to, I, I need some more teary days. I need to go ahead and cry so I can let it out. But instead mm-hmm. of me doing a lot of crying and fussing, I get on stage and complain. Ah. And it just so happened that my complaints actually sound kind of like, hey. I get what he's talking about. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> and here you go. That's how that happens. Oh, well, hey. And it's even better when I'm around a bunch of people I don't know and I'm away from them, so they're not. So, like, doing the MCing, like, at the parties and events or whatever, yeah. I don't know these people. But True. evidently, according to them, I'm amazing. So I'm going to keep that facade up until I get to go home. Oh, yeah, 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 home, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Man, did you hear me almost mess up? Like, I almost messed up the brass name doing the uh, oh, yeah, yeah. board. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that you have to expect that at a certain place. I mean, when you do start stuff like that, you can't be one hundred percent perfect. Right, right. No, I don't think anybody can. You I, sometimes I mix up, mess up on music I'm playing. Sometimes I come out backwards. Yeah. And but it's just, it's just a happens. I mean, they like I said, 
Most of the time, every event that we've done, I believe everybody's enjoyed it. They didn't. Oh yeah. We never. I don't think we received any complaints or dislikes or anything like that. Besides the food truck festival, we did have a complaint. They said the music was too loud, uh, but it's because the people were sitting right on top of us too at that the first couple. Yeah, of the days. first one. Yeah. Um, we, we got that mastered now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we don't. I don't. Well, yeah. I honestly think thing. that, but I think that's what makes it so good. What I know, what I don't like to do, and that that's like or just. What I think some of my weaknesses are, and being that uh, strength of it is that you know sometimes I just gotta realize I don't know these people, and I don't care, I just have fun. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah, kind of yeah. makes it yeah. to when I like doing what I do now. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, because you use that as a advantage to make the you can make the room light up. I seen you, I see you do it. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Hey, that last, that the wedding, the, the last one we just did, the people they were waiting for you to say something. I saw one one lady on the dance floor. I guess she might have just been too old and. Older, but she kept holding her ears like, eh, but everybody else had a blast. Right, right. Even though I had a couple of kids kicking my table. But back, <laughs> back in the day, if, that, if those were actual vinyl, I had, them kids, I had to push them. <laughs> and the record would have skipped all the way across the jungle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, nah, so. Absolutely. It, it was good to see everybody have fun, from the kids to the adults to the, the, fun the, time. the, older, the older people. Like you said, we didn't get to eat, but we got to do everything else. So. Oh, yeah, we had a great time. We had a great time. Yeah, shout out to Mike Evans. Yeah, the, that's cool, dude. Cool, cool dude. Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah, he said he one of RJ's, RJ's finest. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody know about RJ's that live up, up, especially uptown. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that was a dope. Um, but even though those environments not bad, but when, but the ones we gotta hit one of these to go to the bathroom. Excuse me. Oh yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> No, oh I hate it. And don't let it be hot outside. And oh, my, no, and no. your and your human arm touches my sweaty arm. Yeah, oh yeah. And there's a lot that. of hair involved too. Yeah, oh my like god. That. Yeah. You know that scene from um, Along Came Polly with Ben Stiller? Oh, that, that scene, oh, that's yes. the scene when I throw up. Dude. Yes, I, that, that's how I feel going through a hot, humid crowd. Oh, that's why, you know, when I play basketball and when practice, when he used to, just, used to say shirts and skins, I'm like, God, no. Because <laughs> for some reason, the dudes with the, with the shirts off, always gonna, they're going to come straight at you because you're either going to you're gonna take the sweat or you're going to be like, ah, ah, yeah, ah. I don't good. like the dude just, ugh, that's just too much for me. Way too much. I'm good, bro. Yeah, definitely good. <laughs> but you know, since uh, we, we uh, about to get up out of here, um, what we got tonight? The Lakers in Denver tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so y'all check that out. And Brittany Griner returns to the basketball court tomorrow. Oh no, yeah, Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday, yeah. That's the um, Is it? Yeah, oh, the yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, still so these days have been. I swear this month has been. Yo, this week going been terrible. Quick, yo. It's gonna be at least you get to sleep till six o'clock in the morning. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> My day half done by the time you wake up. True. Yeah, that, that, that joint is wild. Yeah, that's that's a schedule I don't wish that on nobody. That joint, that yeah, you you killing that. I want to quit every day. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Yo. That you know, going in Look, three. I had some shoes about three months ago. Like, what slip resistance in, in the kitchen? I had some shoes that just you know they was time to renew them. Like you know, the, my feet was getting wet when it rained outside. Oh, you yeah. know, the sole was. It was time to renew them anyway. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm applying. I'm looking for another job. I won't need them by the time I find a job. You know, I'm good. I finally bought me another pair because it's been four months. I've been applying hard. No, I cannot yeah. find nothing worth yeah. leaving for. Mm-hmm. Boy, ain't nothing like ain't nothing like spending good money on a pair of shoes over to work. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible <laughs> feeling, boy. I hate buying work shoes and I hate buying work clothes. I hate it with a passion. Yeah, same here. Same here. I mean, the last time I bought, well, I just bought some work clothes. It was a good wear. But I'm gonna give you some jeans. But that's the piss, that's what made me mad though. Even if you buy the cheap knockoff raggy stuff, it costs as much as buying something new. It does, yo. I yeah, I didn't know Goodwill prices would be like that. Yeah, they jumping it's like thirteen, fourteen dollars. Like, wait, what? Because sometimes they come across a lick, or they in a good neighborhood. One that's what we went to the one in Grafton. Yeah. So they, they had, popped in and get some good stuff. Oh yeah, they had they had a bunch of Levi's and stuff, and they Gap uh, jeans from Gap and all that stuff. So they want no rinky dink stuff. Yeah, I go to uh, I go to Goodwill just for ties sometimes. Oh, you Nick know what times. I think about it. Oh yeah, you can some fire. Some old dude that used to wear the khakis with the with the blue blazer with the gold oh, buttons. Yeah, oh, you yeah. know, you know he got some fly neck ties. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You, I ain't think. Oh, yeah, next time I go, I'm. That's a fun trip, dog. I'm telling you, bow ties and mm-hmm. all that. Yeah. It's especially all these weddings and stuff we do, bro. Yeah, I, do, I do definitely need some more bow ties. All I got is ties right now. Yeah. I got the one black bow tie I had. It just fell apart. I don't even know where I got it from. I just was like disintegrated or something. Just came all apart. I don't know. You know how to fold. I mean, tie a bow tie. That's, so. it's, it's not fun. Oh, you know how to tie? I tied. 
No, I don't know how. I've, I've tied a bow tie three times. And mm. I've hated it ever since. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't have a match. So I got to watch a video every time. Oh, yeah, see. So now so now I just do like the, uh, if I ever wear a bow tie that's not real, you'll know if a bow tie is real or not on my neck. If it's, if it's fake, it's going to be on like a bow tie. If it's real, I'm going to have my top button unbuttoned to be loose underneath my collar. Oh, okay. Which is still a dope look. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not worth it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. All right, things to watch this weekend. Uh, we got Fast and the Furious 10 yep. coming out tomorrow. Hope it's the last uh, one. Yeah, I definitely hope it's the last one. I think they got an uh, early showing tonight at AMC. That's uh, what's up. Starting That's what's at 7.30. Up. Other than that, uh, we got the NBA playoffs. Uh, that's pretty much it on the TV. has slowed down a little bit because the writers are still on strike, aren't they? Yes, and I don't know what they're talking about as far as you shouldn't play video games if you want to be a man. But I'll tell you one thing. One video game I'm looking forward to playing that just came out last week. Hmm. That's that new Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I want to play that joint. Yeah, I wanted to play that joint too. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Breath of the Wild was one of the first games to come out with the Switch when it mm -hmm. first dropped a couple mm -hmm. years back. Mm -hmm. That game is still $60. For real? That lets you know how good that Go game ahead, is. In one yo. game of the year. Not game of the year for the Switch. Game of the year, period. Oh, wow. Well, I never had to play the bad Zelda anything, so... Zelda's always this good. is true. And Zelda is a beast on uh, Smash Bros. Sure, yeah, show sure is. Show sure is. <laughs> Give me Young Link. I am good. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, I thought I always like playing with uh, the Metroid dude too on uh, Smash Brothers. You said Metroid? Yeah. That is a female. That is Samus. Oh yeah. I, I that's like a lady. That. Yeah, that's that's a good character. I found I found that out on uh, that on GameCube when she took her helmet off. I said, yeah, that is a woman. GameCube. <laughs> yeah. Dang. And they re-released re the uh, Metroid that they put out on GameCube for the uh, Switch, too. For real? Yeah, it got remastered. Looks very dope. Highly Same suggested. Yeah, number 20 bucks. I heard Crash Bandicoot's uh, good, too. They remade, they did that one, too. They did the whole trilogy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always, I always like Crash Bandicoot. Somebody said uh, Chris Brown dances like Crash Bandicoot. Hilarious. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> when I saw a video, I was like, yeah, that is Crash Bandicoot's move. <laughs> Hilarious. With the spit on one leg, yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. It. If he had his tongue hanging out, that'd be it. I'm telling yeah. you, that is funny to me. Oh, yeah, before we go, we gotta talk about that too. What'd you think about that? The Chris Brown and Usher Jane. You said they got in a fight by, uh, at the Lovers and Friends. Oh, no, they got a fight first at the uh, Chris Brown and Usher's yeah, that's uh, that party, birthday right? party. Yeah, it's because Chris, I didn't know Chris Brown and Tiana Taylor had beef already, so Usher shouldn't even invited her on the real. Either. And then they got he got because he disrespected her verbally and then Usher didn't like it and got in between him and apparently got jumped outside but I still see no bruises on Usher he performed the next day Chris I, Brown did too I think they're amping up the uh, a versus that could potentially happen that's what I want I would love to see that they, they said they're going to use it as a, like a concert it wouldn't be them going oh absolutely at, at each other yeah, like, they got too many hits anyway that joke yeah. would be crazy and but, it's going to be long too yeah well, it, you know they got the Diddy and JD joint coming out I'm uh, excited for that who you got who you got who you got let me get out of here who you got that's a tough one, yo. Uh, honestly, I really not just R and B, not just hip hop, across the board. Who you got? I, honestly, I don't have a. I can't pick one. They, they both of them have. I'm have taking Jay Z. Career. career. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm more in New York. I, I, I'm gonna go with Diddy just because you said JD. Diddy had, but SWV, Bow Wow, Criss Cross. Oh uh, man, Young Jock. He did. Yeah, Young Jock did the track yeah. with Bad Boy. Uh, the Brett. He had all the social out the looter. He got, man, yo, I'm taking JD. <laughs> <laughs> JD has some hits, man. Yeah. And if they don't just keep it hip-hop and, and they don't just keep it R&B, or if, if if the first half is R&B and the first half is yeah. hip-hop, I think it would be a fair match. But if Diddy dropping some, I mean, not, not, not to mention Diddy had his hand on some classics. Mm-hmm. He showed Some it, gems. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it'll be definitely one for the books. Uh, definitely will, I, I will definitely watch that one. Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah. I'm so, excited, I'm excited. Definitely excited for that. You got any shout outs, player? Shout out to the kids, the wife, um, just to people, just people doing good in this world. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, shout out to Sean Hicks, we're waiting for him to come on the show. I don't know what we're waiting for. Uh, shout out to just anybody doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, hold on, I see people talking about the Celtic. Nah, yo. No, <laughs> no, 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 Sammy. Go Heat. Uh, What's her secret? Her secret spot? Whoa, whoa! Wait a minute, Mister yeah, Rankin. Yeah, what are you talking wait about? Wait a girl? minute. <laughs> secret spot. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, that's for me, not for <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, His glasses fogged up, y'all. Look. They, they did a little bit. Oh, she talking about Goodwill. Oh. Get out of here. Man, she's, you said she put that in graphic. Oh, there she go. I thought I said ignorant. I did too. I she tried. She tried. <laughs> we about to get out of here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> she said, ill nasty. Hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, shout out to just everybody. Shout out to the Heat and the Steelers too. That's my squad. That's all I got. Shout out to the wife. Shout out to the kids. Shout out to everybody that got a smile on their face and you don't know what they're going through at home, man. Uh, because you never know. You never know. Definitely. You know how much it costs to be nice? Nothing. nothing. <laughs> it costs nothing. It's free 99, people. Free 99. People still want to be ignorant. For no yeah, reason. man. You just you just never know, man. You don't. Like you but, said, never, people go through so much stuff and they hide it. And don't, yeah. And I want them. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I want them. I, I complain about my raggedy wife and complain about my punk ass kids. And I do it in a way that makes you think, dang, I feel the same way. But I love them to death, man. I really do. Love oh, yeah, the dog. Yeah. Okay. Except that punk ass dog. I do not like my dog. <laughs> Her dog. Hell, he ain't even my dog. You mean you talking about the dog, man? Uh, not that dog, man. <laughs> that dog is half Yorkie, half Shih Tzu. Whenever he get on my nerves, I tell him I have to get your shit. That is your dog. I know that's right. You know I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I do not like that dog. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, anyway. Nah, nah, nah. But seriously, though, I do absolutely love and adore Beulah Mae Jenkins. Gabby, Trey, Destiny, Love, all three of y'all. Jackson, you all right, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we about to get up out of here. But until next time, uh, you know, just be good to folks, man. You never know. We appreciate all the haters. We really do appreciate y'all. Oh, we definitely love y'all. And we absolutely, absolutely love each one of anybody who's watching, sharing, talking about, telling people. All our supporters, we definitely appreciate y'all. And we look forward to the EBR Media Entertainment Group taking over. Bang. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, Hire us for your new events. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, def definitely call us. We got, yeah. we got something for every. And everything. clip this off and send this to the homie. This you promised us two years ago, bro. We need to get us a joint show together to the homie Sin. Sin's corner. Oh yeah, Sin. Yo, it's I've, been way too. Long, I've been. I've, I'm still watching. You still following me, brother. Appreciate definitely. what you do. I definitely. want to sit down with you for at least an hour, man. Oh yeah. Thirty man, minutes for minimum, yours. Thirty for thirty minutes for us, yes, man. At minimum. Yes. I want to do a joint show on Sin's corner. So definitely. clip this off, make it a little real, and send that to the big. Call me for me, Mr. Sortel. I will. Oh, I definitely, definitely will. I miss I you, sir. Keep on doing that hard work yeah, you're doing. Sir, we see Shout you. out to Loud and the gang, man. Yeah, we definitely you see never you know. We might, might come rock with y'all a little bit soon, man. We definitely yeah, appreciate everything y'all yeah. do. And uh, I think that's it. That's all my shout out. That's all I'm about to, I just want a BT award. I'm out of here. Yeah, do something. <laughs> I like to thank the Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love right. each and every one of y'all, man. And uh, remember, some people are so poor, all they got is money. Don't die broke, people. Make life worth living. We out. Peace. Peace. Deuces.